y'all? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Tanisha. But before we get into this video, please be sure to subscribe to my channel. Let's get into it right now. I feel like God downloaded this into my spirit. And I feel that way because I got two messages regarding, are you preparing for the promise? And God reminded me of a situation that I was in where I had to exercise my faith. But we're gonna get into that because I have a few notes that I wanna talk about. So when we are preparing for our promises, how are we getting ready for those promises to come to pass? Because we know we have an enemy and we know that he's constantly out to steal, kill, and destroy us, right? We know that because the word tells us that. We know that by our trials and tribulations that we face. And so when we're facing these things, how are we going through our circumstances and also at the same time, what are we doing to combat the negative mindsets that we're having while we're trying to prepare for our promise? I'll tell you. Romans 12, 12 tells us to rejoice in our confident hope, be patient in trouble, and to keep on praying. I feel like that's direction for us to really, really focus in on all three of those things being hopeful, being patient, and praying. Preparing for the promise is really another way of saying exercise your faith. I had a situation that happened to me at a previous job and I was going through some things, I'm going through a lot at this job. When I say a lot, I mean a lot at this job. I'm doing so much at this job, child, it was just too much. The math was not math. The amount of money that I was making for the stuff that I was doing was insane. I was training my entire department. I was able to oversee projects that would bring the company more profits. And I was just doing so much in this position. I was like, it's insane that once I go to my managers and my leads, they don't feel like it was time to promote me. So all in all, I was upset. I didn't understand, okay, why, you know, why is this happening to me? Why am I not getting promoted? You know, also this job was very far from my home. So I'm not getting paid the amount of money I want to make. I'm dealing with managerial issues. It was just an array of problems at this job. I cannot say that that job didn't teach me and set me up for my future. And so going through this process with this job, I had a dream. So let me go to the next part of the story because this is really, really the preparation for the promise part that I want y'all to catch. So I had a dream. God speaks to me a lot through dreams. And the dream that I had, it was back in, I believe, March of 2020. Now we all know that's when the world had just flipped upside down. It was just so much going on. In the dream, I was in the car, driving the car. Now, as I was driving this car, the car began to slow down. So I had to pull off the road and my car stopped. But the craziest part about this dream is the fact that I was on my way to my job. So at the time, I'm still learning, I'm still um, becoming more spiritually aware and mature. So I spoke to my pastor about it and my pastor told me, she said, I believe the grace at your job has run out. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't understand why I was in that season, but now I know why I was in that season. I was like, what? Like, this is crazy. Like what? I went to the job, I believe it was that next day, next week, or whatever. I started to prepare my space. I started taking down notes, pictures, all kinds of stuff. I cleared out my desk. I cleared it out. Because you ain't gotta tell me twice. I was ready to go, like period. Like I was ready to go and I threw away like everything. I literally set that desk up to prepare for my promise, which was the new job. A week after I removed everything from my desk, tell me why. 
a week later, I ended up getting an offer for another job with a better commute and I will be working from home due to COVID. You can't tell me God ain't good. God will repay you. So you got to, look, you got to pay attention to the details, things that happen in your life. I got a better job and a better commute. And since everything was going on in the world with COVID, I was able to work from home. You cannot tell me God won't repay you for what the locusts have eaten. Look, you gotta pay attention to details of your blessings. They are reminders of the goodness of God. I had labored for two years, putting so many miles on my car, going to a job that I hated, being in an environment that was so toxic, and God ended up blessing me with more than what I asked for. And I just thank God for what he does. I thank God for how he sets everything up. God won't come when you want him to come, but he's always on time. That was an on-time blessing for me and my husband. That was an on-time blessing. And I thank God for allowing me to have that dream and preparing for my promise. And that's what I mean when I say prepare for your promise. Exercise your faith. You know, or if you're going to buy a home, go buy something in faith for that home. If you are believing God for a new job, prepare. You got a job you don't like, do what I did. Prepare your space. Make room for your blessings. A lot of times we just sit back and just get beat up. I almost laughed. But a lot of us just sit back and let the devil just beat us down. And we don't understand the power in our, in our Bible, the power in the word of God. Some of us don't. We have to be honest. We say this stuff. God is, you know, God is good. We, we get in church and we do all these things. But behind closed doors, we cry. We worry. We doubtful. We have fear, which God didn't give us fear. Exercise your faith. Do what needs to be done. The Bible tells us that faith, faith without works is dead. I understand praying. I get that. But you have to meet God in the middle at some point and exercise your faith. God, I'm believing you for this. And it may not come when you want it, but it's going to come at the time that you need it. God comes through. I'm telling you, I'm a witness to his goodness. I'm a witness to his faithfulness. I'm a witness to his blessings. God is a good God. If I sit here and talk about all the things God has done for me, how he's kept me, even when I didn't know I was being kept, how he's blessed me, even when I did feel blessed, even when I shouldn't have gotten blessed. So I just hope this video blessed someone Please leave some comments below. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about how you're preparing for your promise and how you're believing bigger. This wraps up the video. Please be sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel and I'll see you all in the next video.